My name is Marilyn, and along with me, we have Selma, Dan, Christina, and Kay. We are the Intellects. Our mission is to educate you on chronic kidney disease, diabetes, hypertension, and provide you dietary counseling, along with exercise tips. Join us on this educational quest to prevent chronic kidney disease. Good morning, ladies. I heard that you were coming today. Uh, my name is Kay Wright, and I'm a certified nephrology nurse. That just means I've had special education in the treatment of chronic kidney disease. Now, I understand that your physician has sent you here today because you had a few questions for me. Yes. What do the kidneys do? I mean, I still go to the bathroom, so how can I be having kidney disease? Oh, the kidneys do a lot of different things, more than just helping you go to the bathroom. Your kidneys clean your blood of waste and toxins. It balances your electrolytes, like your potassium, your sodium, and your calcium, and it helps to keep your bones strong. The kidneys also assist in the production of red blood cells and, again, maintains that fluid balance. So I can still urinate and have kidney disease? What are the signs of kidney disease? I've been told in the past that I had high blood pressure, but I don't feel bad. Well, there are many causes of uh, kidney disease, but the two main causes are diabetes and hypertension. If both of these are left uncontrolled and unmonitored, many people with hypertension and diabetes may not have symptoms at all until the damage has already been done. Now, if you have a family history of high blood pressure or diabetes, let your physician know about that because he'll need to keep a good close check on it to make sure that you are not developing it. So what are the signs and symptoms of kidney disease? A lot of our, our patients say that they have a decreased appetite, maybe nausea and vomiting, itching, shortness of breath, maybe edema or swelling, mostly in the hands, the feet, maybe around their eyes, and they have extreme fatigue. How will I know if my kidneys are failing? Your doctor may do a urinalysis, and what he's checking for is to see if there's any protein in your urine. Protein's not supposed to be in your urine. So if it is, it lets him know that there could be some damage to your kidneys. He'll then maybe order a complete metabolic panel or a chemistry, and he's looking to see what your creatinine and BUN is. Your creatinine and BUN are two of the poisons that your kidneys normally excrete. If we see that they're elevated, then he's going to look at the GFR. The GFR stands for glomerular filtration rate. According to what your GFR is, it can help determine what stage of kidney failure you may be in. There are five stages of kidney failure. Stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, stage 4, and stage 5. Stage 5 is at the end stage of renal disease. So how can kidney failure be prevented? If I already have kidney disease, how can I prevent progression to stage 5 in stage renal disease? These are great questions. Kidney disease can be prevented, or at least the progression of the disease can be slowed. For hypertension or high blood pressure, keep your blood pressure at a normal limit as determined by your doctor, but it should usually be less than 130 over 80. Take your blood pressure meds as ordered, don't miss any doses, and keep a record to show your doctor. Decrease the sodium in your diet. Exercise daily. This will help you decrease your body fat and increase your muscle mass. If you're already overweight, you may need to decrease your calories along with the exercise to decrease your body weight. And if you have a family history of hypertension, let your doctor know this so it can be monitored very closely. Now, if you have diabetes, keep your fasting blood sugar less than 120 or your hemoglobin A1C should be less than 6.4 or as directed by your doctor. Take your blood sugar medicine as ordered, don't miss any doses, and decrease the carbohydrates in your diet. Exercise daily. If overweight, you may need to decrease your calories along with exercise to decrease your body weight. If you don't have diabetes but have a family history of diabetes, let your doctor know this so it can be monitored closely. You might ask to be referred to a dietitian, or sometimes they have a dietitian at your local hospital, maybe through a diabetes clinic. You can ask your doctor to refer you to them, and they can help you with your diet and maybe some tips on meal planning. What do I do next? Well, it's extremely important that you keep asking these questions. The things you need to remember are ask what your GFR is. 
ask to be referred to a nephrologist. That's the specialist in kidney disease. If you're already up to stage 3, he will be a big help to you. If you're a diabetic, keep a record of your blood sugars. And if you're a hypertensive or high blood pressure, keep a record of your blood pressures. Keep all your doctor's appointments and bring the records to all those appointments. Do not miss any of your medicines. Exercise daily and keep your weight within a normal range as determined by your physician. By doing all the things that we've discussed today, you can prevent or slow the progression of your chronic kidney disease. Take control of your health. Hi, I'm Christina, one of the dietitians who works for DCI in Shelby. As Kay mentioned, diet and exercise are two of the best ways to lose weight and prevent serious consequences of diabetes and kidney failure. In this section of the video, I will be educating a man who has been recently diagnosed with diabetes about how to eat a healthier and more balanced diet. Hi, I'm Christina, one of the dietitians. Nice to meet you. What brings you in today? Well, I was in the hospital a couple days ago, and the doctor told me I had diabetes and possible kidney failure, and I need to see a dietitian. Well, you're in the right place, and I can definitely help you with that. Now, has your doctor discussed what diabetes is and how it affects your body? Well, he went over a lot of information, but I do remember he told me that I need to limit my certain foods that I eat um, to keep my blood sugar under control. Well, he's exactly right. Diet and exercise are two of the best ways to lose weight and prevent serious consequences of diabetes. Now, can you give me a picture of what you normally eat and what your activity level is? Well, I eat on the go because of my job. I'm a truck driver, and we all eat at all the truck stops and the fast food restaurants. Um, I drink a lot of Cokes and flavored coffees to keep me awake, and my favorite places to eat are McDonald's and Bojangles. So what types of foods do you normally eat there? Well, at McDonald's, I like their Big Mac meal um, with the fries and a Coke, and I love their soft serve ice cream and a hot apple pies. And at Bojangles, I eat um, their southern fried chicken biscuit, french fries, and a Coke. Well, it sounds like you eat on the go, and your job requires you to be stationary. Now, is it important to eat a healthy and balanced diet to help lose weight? I would like to go over an educational tool called the Food Guide Pyramid. It will help you to eat a healthier and more balanced diet. So this is the Food Guide Pyramid. There are six different groups in the Food Guide Pyramid, which are represented by the six different slices. The size of the slice gives you an idea of how much you can eat in one day. The orange slice is the grains group, which includes foods made from wheat, corn, barley, rice, and oats. Always choose whole grain and whole wheat foods from this group. The green and the red slice are the vegetables and fruits group. These groups are full of vitamins and minerals and are also low in calories and fat. Eat often from these groups. The yellow slice is the oils group. This includes butter, oil, and any solid and liquid fat. Eat sparingly from this group as it contains a lot of calories. The blue slice is the dairy group or milk group. This includes milk and foods made from milk. Choose low fat items over whole fat. The purple slice is the meat and beans group which includes beans, nuts, nut butters, and meat. When eating out, always buy the leaner meats over the fattier meats. The stairs on the left-hand side are here to encourage people to exercise at least 30 minutes a day. So now that I've gone over the Food Guide Pyramid with you, do you have any questions? Um, yes, I do. Um, where do junk food and sweets fit into the Food Guide Pyramid? Good question. Junk food, such as candy and sugary beverages, are not included in the Food Guide Pyramid to encourage people to eat a healthier diet and eat more nutrient-dense foods. That makes sense. Let's talk about what we can work on this week. Now that we've gone over healthier food choices, what are three changes that you can make in your diet this week? Well, I can choose um, diet coats instead of regular coats. I can choose grilled foods instead of fried foods, and I can bring along fruit to eat instead of french fries on my job. Well, that sounds like a plan. I can't wait to see you next week and track your progress. Have a great day. Have a great day.
Now that I've gone over healthy eating tips with you, I'd like to show you some exercises to help you burn calories, build muscle, or just relax from a stressful day. These exercises are simple and easy to do. However, always talk to your doctor before starting any exercise program. Someone will be demonstrating an exercise that will help to relax you from a stressful day. She will be lifting her arms and breathing in, and then lowering her arms as she breathes out. This is a great exercise to get oxygen to your bloodstream and just relax you from a busy day. Kay will demonstrate a shoulder exercise using bands. Kay will place her feet on the bands and hold on to the handles. She lifts her arms to shoulder level, hold, and then lower her arms back to her sides. Dan will be demonstrating a leg exercise using ankle weights that you can do while sitting. Dan extends his leg out, then raises his leg as high as he can go, and lowers his leg back down. Marilyn will demonstrate an exercise that will strengthen your legs and backside. You can do this exercise with or without weights. Marilyn stands with her weights to her sides and squats as if she were about to sit in a chair. Make sure your back is straight and you are not slouching while squatting. Stand back up. These are great exercises to do at home or at work and will really help to tone your muscles and help to burn calories. We hope that you have learned some valuable information to help you make informed decisions about your health care and live a healthier lifestyle. Thank you for watching the video. If you would like additional information about kidney disease, please contact the dialysis clinic here in Shelby, North Carolina. Thank you.